How to write great copy quickly, easily, and consistently in Scrivener. Copywriting is about meeting a need or solving a problem, and there are different formulas and strategies copywriters use to frame their words to persuade people to pay attention to what they're selling or keep people engaged with their content long enough to build a relationship. But what all types of copywriting have in common is that you need a tried and tested checklist or roadmap that you can follow to ensure you stay on point and don't forget anything important. Writing your copy in Scrivener makes your job exponentially easier because you can split your screen and follow your roadmap in one split while writing up your copy in another. Hi, this is Kaz from Scrivener Quick Start, where I help you organize your projects and get more done faster using Scrivener. And in this training, I'm going to show you how to use my copywriting template. You'll find a link to my Scrivener template page in the description below so that you can download the template we're working on today. And you'll find instructions at the top of the same page to upload it to your Scrivener app and add your own spin to it. But of course, you can keep watching, copy what I do and create your own template. In Scrivener, first you have to decide if you want a dedicated copywriting project or if you want to add a copywriting folder to each of your book or screenplay projects. This is important because project templates come preloaded with all the most suitable compile and formatting settings for the type of document you plan to export. So if you're writing books, you need to start off in a novel or non-fiction template. If you're writing screenplays, you need to start off in a screenplay template. If you're using the template as a standalone copywriting template, you don't need the export settings for a book or a screenplay. If you open Scrivener from scratch, you will already see the Project Templates window open. But if you have an existing project open, go to File, New Project. You'll find the Copywriting Template in the Quick Start tab or the Miscellaneous tab. Open it as a new project. If you want to add the contents of the template to an existing project, if you have Merge All Windows toggled on, drag the project template off and place it above the project you want to add to. Create a copywriting folder inside the existing project. Select the folders you want to add with the exception of the templates folder and drag them inside the copywriting folder in your existing project. Then, as you can't have two document template folders active at the same time, if your current project came with its own templates folder, you have to drag only the sub-documents across and place them inside your existing templates folder. Now you can delete the copywriting project, but I'm going to use it as a standalone copywriting project. Copywriting encompasses a range of different specializations from marketing, which is the art of writing creatively and persuasively to sell products and services, to blogging, which is more about building a relationship through sharing something insightful, useful and interesting. For this demo, I've created roadmaps for sales letters and blogging as examples. I've used index cards in corkboard view mode to create a roadmap of my step-by-step -step process for writing sales copy and another for writing blog posts. Read through them and tweak them to suit the way you like to write your copy. Click inside an index card and edit it. Hold down Option or Control and hit Return to go onto a new line. Hitting Return by itself will create a new card. Name it and add instructions below. Drag your cards into the order that you want them. Note that the document order in the binder automatically updated to match the corkboard. To delete a card, right click and move it to the trash. You can also create new roadmap folders of your own for the different types of copy that you write. Create a new folder, name it, make sure you are in corkboard view mode, click inside the editing window and hit enter to create a new card. 
hit enter again to create a second. Note how creating an index card automatically creates a document for it in the binder. If you're using My Template, you can also right click on your folder and apply My Roadmap icon, which will import with the template. Once you're clear about which roadmap you're going to follow to write a piece of copy, select it, split your screen vertically. If you're on Mac, you might have to hold down Option to get a vertical split. Adjust the splits so that you can see one card across in one of the splits. Place your cursor in the larger split, open the project folder and add a new file. I've left some examples here, so I'll select this landing page sales letter as an example. Now you can write your copy for this document in Scrivening's view in this split whilst following your roadmap in the corkboard view in the second split. If you tend to use the same formula or roadmap often, you can create a document template for it in the templates folder where you can access a copy of it anytime and add even more Scrivener functionality to it. First, if you're not using my project template and you don't already see a document templates folder in your binder here, create a folder, call it templates, go to project, project settings and open the special folders tab. Open the templates folder drop down menu and choose your new templates folder. Its icon will automatically change to the templates icon and copies of any files or folders placed within this folder will now be accessible when you go to project new from template. I've left examples here for you to use based on my roadmaps, but if you've created your own roadmap, you can easily create a template from it. Simply right click on your roadmap, duplicate it, rename it and drag it into the templates folder. But for this demo, I'll use the sales letter template. I like to add the file titles into the text of the documents in case I want to rearrange the points of the copy later. I'll show you what I mean in a moment. When you want to write new copy, select the document immediately above where you want your new document, go to Project, New from Template and choose the template you want. Rename it whatever the sales letter is for. Let's collapse the templates folder and now we're working on a copy of the sales letter template in a folder of its own. Note that it's come in as a folder so you can click inside a section and edit it. Or select any file in the binder and work on it individually. Still follow the roadmap in your second split, but now you don't have to start at the beginning. You can jump straight to points that you have an answer for. As each point has a file of its own, if you find any points that don't apply to this copy, move them to the trash. And you can rearrange the points in the binder to suit the flow of this particular sales letter. Once you're happy with the order of your points and you've written the first draft of the copy, consolidate the document by selecting all its files and going to Document Merge. Here's where it helps to have the document titles in the text of the documents because they've all been consolidated into just one title in the binder, which I will call Sales Letter 1 bearing in mind that there might be other copy in the NVIDIA sales page or I might want to split test this sales letter with version 2. Now go on to your fine editing for this sales letter. Move any of my folders and files that don't suit your process to the trash. Create roadmaps and document templates of your own and before you know it, you'll have a highly organized copywriting project completely customized for your copywriting activities. And that's how to use my copywriting template or create your own. 
Remember I told you at the beginning of this video that Scrivener templates come pre-configured with the settings you need in the Compile menu for standard books and ebooks. Well, there isn't a template so far that includes the settings if you want to bundle books together or publish a series of short stories. So I've created one for you and in the next video I'll show you how it works. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next video.